Welcome to Quinea of Quinea Reviews. Um, I'm actually going to be reviewing the uh, Jamie Oliver Salt and Pepper Mills. And what I, I like about it, it's um, right now it's very smooth wood, good quality. It tells you salt and pepper on top so no, you know which one you're picking up. And I'm going to compare it to the other ones that I've used. Now these are store-bought ones just because I started to get into pepper mills and I like my fresh ground pepper and salt. So that goes, that you can see how coarse it's doing. I mean, it's cutting. And this is the salt. You can see that there's some coarse uh, peppers, I mean, salt also coming out. It hasn't, it doesn't really grind as good as what I'm about to show you with the Jamie Oliver one. Now this is salt. Let me get, well, I'll, I'll do it here so you can see the comparison. This is Jamie Oliver's um, salt and pepper shaker. I guess I got to tighten it. I haven't tightened it. So you can see some fine, finer salt. There is some escaping, but not as, you know, some big pieces of escaping, but not as big as, not as much as this one. And this is the salt. I'm the pepper. And you can see it's more like sand in this one. So there you have it. I really like it. It is finer, and you can make it finer by tightening it up. You could, uh, well, let me get rid of this. That's up at its tightest. Same thing with the salt. At its tightest, you can get a finer grind. I hope you can see this with the um, with the uh, camera. I know it's probably not the greatest. The salt is light. Okay, there you have it. I hope that helps you make a good purchase with these salt and pepper mills.